Hey guys, it's Kaler. Welcome to the YouTube channel. This is part three of our design to code project that we're currently working on. If you've missed out on the first two videos, go back and check them out. We designed and coded this website so far in HTML and CSS. And today is going to be the third and final video in the series where we're going to add some motion to the website. You're going to want to make sure you download the project file. The link will be down in the description. And I've added an animate.css file and a JavaScript folder. And inside of that JavaScript folder, we have the minified version of wow.js. Each of these are libraries that we're going to be using today to add motion. Animate.css and wow.js I've covered in an animate.css mini series here on the channel, which I'll link on the screen now if you want to go into detail about how to use these in your own projects. To download the CSS file for animate.css, just click download here, and then you can right click on this and save it. Next, to download wow.js, you can go to GitHub. Simply hit clone or download and download the zip file. But if you don't want to do all that, all this will be already in the project file for you. So make sure you download that and you'll be at the starting point for today's video. Today's video is sponsored by bookmark.com. Bookmark is a really cool and easy way to build a website in under two minutes. By answering seven simple questions, Bookmark uses an artificial intelligence to build your website right before your eyes. You can even create an online store if you have items to sell. So if you're looking to build a website, there's a link in the description down below for bookmark.com. So starting off here in Visual Studio Code, here in the head of our HTML, I'm going to create a link and this is going to be linking towards the style sheet that we've added now to our code folder. And so href, and this is called animate.css. So that's linking to that. Now down here at the bottom of our code, before the closing body tag, I'm going to create a script tag with a source of JavaScript slash wow.min.js. So that's linking to our script. And then also to activate this, we need to create a small script. And inside of this, all we have to do is say new wow in all caps, open and close parentheses, dot init, parentheses again, and semicolon. So that's all the simple setup that we need for both of those libraries. So now if we scroll up to the top, here in our div called landing, we're going to add some motion to this left class, which has our heading and then our paragraph, and it's got that rectangle behind the text. So here we have a class of left already on this, so I'm going to space, and the first thing we need to add is animated. And that class lets animate.css know that we want this element animated. Next, we need to select a class, and there's a ton of different ones you can choose from. You can preview them here on the website. And by the way, I'll leave a link to animate.css and wow.js in the description because the domain names are kind of weird. So if we do like fade in up, you can preview that there. So that's how I've known which ones I want to go with. So for this one, I'm going to do fade in up and these are camel case so you want to make sure that you capitalize every new word after the first so if we save that up and we switch over to our website refresh you now see this slides in on load so now we want these to animate in from the side to do that we have each of these skill box classes which is housing these h2s so on each one of these i'm going to add animated and i'm also going to add fade in right and I want this big, which means it's basically going to do this of a larger style of animation. So I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to paste it in on each one of our skill boxes. Save that up. When we refresh, you'll see them all fade in there. So that's looking good. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually create a custom CSS class. So I'm going to head over to our main.css. Down here at the very bottom, we have this motion tag that I have in here. I'm going to create some classes called delay. So we're going to have delay dash one. And I'm going to set an animation delay of 0 0.1 seconds. And I'm going to copy this entire thing. And I'm going to create three more. So we'll have delay two delay three and delay four. So I'm going to slightly increase these. 
So we'll do 0.3 on this one, 0.5 on that one, and 0.7 on that one. So we'll save that up. Back in our index, I'm gonna add each one of these to these skill boxes going from the top to the bottom. So we'll have delay dash one. And on the next one, we'll do delay dash two, delay dash three, and delay dash four. Now if we save that up, each one of these is gonna run this animation, but it's gonna be slightly delayed. So that's gonna come up with an effect like this. So each one slides in individually. And now the only thing we have left to do is as we scroll down, we want these two elements to animate. So let's go ahead and do that now. Since we've already set up wow.js just above the closing body tag, we can now go over here and we have section two and we're on the left. So we're gonna add a class this time called wow. That lets us know that we want to use wow instead of animate.css. And we're gonna do a fade in left. And then here on the right class, we'll do wow. And we'll do fade in up. Save that up. Back over to our browser, we refresh. And you'll see that animation is applied. But if we go to the top and we refresh, the animation hasn't ran yet. As we scroll down, it's then going to animate. So we scroll down and you see they animate in, creating that nice scrolling animation. So that is it for this quick tutorial. That's adding motion to our design to code. I hope you guys enjoyed this project. Let me know if you did down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, consider giving it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more design and code related content. I upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, so make sure you have that notification bell on so you don't miss a video. And as always, have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.